live. Oh. Oh, no so. Worries. Sorry. No, you're good. We're already live. I'm gonna go to the game. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll give you your, your, your 30 seconds, cause I need to... I'm back. That's all good. Cause I need to click this and... What the stream had the restart? Whoa! I'm kidding now. Everything's good. Everything should be good. Unless it's not, then then we're screwed. Probably isn't. That's good. Nah, it should be good because uh yeah no. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm just waiting to click copy. It's, eh, it's buffering again. Okay, it's back. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I was being super weird. <laughs> Um, it it's now it's like it's because yeah I know why we're good okay because because I was on the stream itself interesting um I'm also not connected to Ethernet oh god yeah there's no way for you to be connected right no there is oh I just choose be. not to that's a that changes the life man that's probably the biggest reason. Yeah, but it's not lagging anymore, right? No, it's back. Yeah, exactly. See? Anyways. Tune of the podcast. Send me the discords. Boom. Okay, I put it in shameless plug. Perfect. Let me put it in there. Yeah, part two. That. Part two. Alright, cool. Let's do let's let's do this. Alright, so uh you do you do the intro. Wake up slap. Welcome to the podcast. It's your boys Ack and V Rage from the Double Edge. Yeah, that's right. I'm pretty sure I'm messing up the intro because I forget the exact words, but Wake up, up slap, it's now. time for a podcast. It's Kyle and V there back here for the double edge podcast. There we go. One of us knows it. And today I'm just gonna check my HA before we do our thing. Do you not go, like, do you not zoom out when you're in the wild? Zoom out? You know you can zoom out, right? To, like, mm. have, like, a wider view? No. Yeah, click your right, uh, joy, like, your right joystick button. It'll zoom out. Significantly. Oh. Right. I kind of like it like this better, but... Really? Yeah. Damn. That's the first... You're the first one I've seen that says that. You're insane. Alright, so I got a, a Wismacot. Ooh. As my as my thing. I thought it might have been a Flapple. Like a, I thought that was the one that had the chance to be a Flapple. Which would have been... Holy How funny would that have been? Didn't want a flapple. Started off with. If flapple. I got the flapple G Max, just be one of them days. Just do be like that sometimes. But we are here, um, and we are gonna do our podcast duty to podcast. So, um, I'm the one with the list, which is really bad because I'm hunting for raids. Um. Yeah, I mean. So, what do we have so far on our list that you can remember? A bunch of starters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. An obstacle. <laughs> so there's that. Um, you know what? I think you're completely right. I'll be I don't real. Think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. But, uh, yeah, but I'm ready to add some new ones, some obscure ones, something that we don't normally. So have. I think. That on our list, we should add, um, we should add a, I thought Rotom was actually like a really good one. Hello, I'm actually awake this time for the stream. Hello, Soul, how are you doing? Hey, how's it going? I'm going to break up the national decks. That? So I don't want to like I don't want to like fetch for Pokemon in my head. I want to see what we can do right from the get go. 
I mean, I have one, but I don't want to... Oh, oh, I just got one. Oh, my God. Let's do it. Beedrill. Yeah. With its stingers, it could be straight-up close combatter. Um, I, w I think that would be really fun um, to see, personally. I would really enjoy that. Doing good, man. How about you? Yeah, same. And we like, finally kind of have... Thing we finally have it, though. What? Our our stream, it's doing. Oh, yeah. We're, we're we were, doing it. Yesterday was riddled with technical issues. This is part two. This is part two. We're doing better than and ever just, before. And just to let you know, since you weren't here yesterday, so the category, the, the topic is making a Smash roster with Pokemon only. Um, so Yee. I was thinking about B Drill and having its final Smash being mega and like doing like a twin needle barrage or something ending with like a cross poison slash something like that would be i think pretty spicy looking um, it's final smash would definitely have like twin needle but that's like, like it's move but like yeah yeah, yeah. and so, then like maybe like a poisonous twin needle like a barrage, oh, okay. yeah. And then it like leaves like poison damage like lurking on the foe. That yeah. Does heal, it damage over time. D to, dot. That'd be interesting. Um, I mean, yeah, if this if it lives. If it lives, yeah. Uh. That would probably be its one of its traits that once you hit it, you'd probably like just get poisoned. Like, a lot. Yeah, like, it's guaranteed to be poison, which is dumb. Also, damage. can I just say that Extra Drill is actually really tiny? Yeah, in the game, he's like, he's a midget. Or she's a midget. <laughs> it's funny. And there it is. Five-star Dreadnought. Bruh. Bruh. Uh, Goldark, I think, is a good one. It's one of my favorite mods, so I'm a bit biased. Goldark would be yeah. interesting. He'd be, I could seem like as a slow, heavy hitter. Shadow punches. Um, like, mini earthquakes. That'd be pretty cool. How do you see his? How do you how do you imagine Goldlurk's like final smash being? Because we've been really like doing a lot of final smashes, especially in the last stream. So oh, we love final smashes. That. I'm just gonna send an invite to others. I'm not even putting it up in a um a wall or anything. Just gonna yeah. I'm tired of like G Max Pokemon that aren't that are rare. So I'm taking a hiatus from that. And I'm just gonna look for rarer Pokemon. Oh, bet. Phantom Force. That'd be cool. That'd be okay, so our list as of right now, via I guess monitor the chat, is Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Pichu, Mewtwo, Pokemon Trainer, and then for Nick I put with uh with its echo. Um if Nick was here he could say it, but I'm I'm not gonna say it. Yes. Uh Lucario, Greninja, Incineroar, Sceptile, Feraligator, Torterra, and Polion. Superior, Cinderace, Inteleon, Mimikyu, Surfetched, um, Obstagoon, Toxtricity, Graplock with a question mark. Uh, Graplock, I thought about it. Uh, yeah. I don't think it would fit. You don't think so? I don't know how you'd fit it in. I mean, we can talk about it later, but it's just like, I don't know. Would probably kind of be a more grapply Incineroar. But oh sorry, grapple lock. Okay, okay. I, I was thinking, I was thinking about the Flapple evolution for a second. What's that one called? Flapple. No, no, no. Flapple's other part. At, uh, at like at Appleton. Apple yeah, I keep getting them, them confused. Yeah, 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 no, grapple lock could be great. Yes, yes. With Octo Lock and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Caesar, Gudra, Eevee, Galissapod, Darmanitan, Haxorus, or Beetle, Gallade with a question mark. I'll be real on this one. I don't think we should put Gally. Not feeling it. So? Not feeling not it. Not feeling no. it. Where are you? All right, all right. I'm not gonna argue there. I want more unique Pokemon, not just like ones that are obvious, like warriors. I liked the Hitmon line though, where you yes. could switch with all three of them. That's probably that, my favorite. Like that one was a question mark. Rodom, Pidgeot with the Staraptor Echo. Oh, and Feraligator was with a Crocodile Echo. Dragonite, yes, yes. Electivire, Grimmsnarl with a question mark. I like it, so... Grimmsnarl would be cool. Use mm. the hairs. Roserade, uh, Beedrill, and we put down... Uh, what is it? Golurk we had? Yep, just now, yeah. Um... 
I could see it. I like Pokemon Trainer to have a different starter as that goes. Yeah, that'd be cool. That's something they could yeah. do for, like, the real game. Yeah. And then uh, I think, I mean, I don't know if you guys think, but Beedrill potentially. I put down Beedrill. I like okay, it. Okay, cool. Um, so the mod I was going to pick, we both thought of bug types, which is actually really funny. I like, I would like Heracross, yeah. <laughs> yep, I'm down. Like, I think that it would be a lot more, like, um, of its skill link base. Like, like, a lot of its specials would be, like, Rock Blast, or, um... I don't know if it gets a Pin Missile. Pin Missile. Um, I think it gets, it gets, like, Double Slap. Does it get Double Slap? I forgot what the one it get the other one it gets. Because of its Mega, right? Yeah, yeah. It would be Sky Uppercut, and it's, like, Final Smash would probably be its Mega in a, um, Close Combat. Oh, Close Combat. Would close be nice. Combat, like, Mega Horn Combo. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. And, like, his, like, recovery could be, like, his wings coming out, he busts. I was gonna say, yeah, device. like, that, but, like, with Sky Uppercut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, I agree. I like Heracross. I think Heracross is a good Pokemon. Alright, so scrolling through the Gen 1 list right now. I feel like... I don't know. It would be interesting. Oh, what? you know what? what? I think uh, Grimer or Muck would be interesting. Muck would be a cool one. Because it would because have, like, the ability... Like, like, we put down Gudra, but it would have, like, kind of the same, like, feel of Gudra. Except this is more on the ground, so you'd have to. So like, walking near it, you'd probably slip a lot more. Exactly. Bringing like back the walks. ass trip mechanic from uh, <laughs> Smash Ultimate. Yeah, where he like uh, leaves like a trail of slime for a little bit every time he like wherever he moves, and he could like, his, him, like he could like sh dodge or whatever, or like some of his moves could be very much related to like him like, you know, dissolving himself into a flatbed of sludge going upwards to like recover like stretching himself out a lot or something to grab like a ledge and slinking himself up i think yeah. it'd be pretty fun and like his final smash i could just imagine him like like he just gets really big and then he just like kind of like jiggly puffs like instead of minimize it would be like a maximize type of thing and then like in the anime where he would like cover over them completely with yeah. like a sludge and like kind of like suffocate them i think that'd be cool and you can like grab multiple enemies that way and just like bury them. Um, what else? Sludge burial. Yeah, like a sludge sand coffin. It's sand burial. Sand burial. Dude talks like he has sand in his throat, but I love Gara, so it's okay. Like Gara, like before he became kind of a kind kind of like a um. A goody two shoes was like one of the best characters when he was just insane. Honestly, I liked him when he was better. I didn't like him insane because I hated when he hit Lee and broke him. I, I liked, liked his insane. I liked him being insane. I liked him in part one, but part two, he was kind of too much of a pussy. <laughs> they did a 180 with his personality. Like, like, like part, like, like, like when he was fighting the Bone Dude, I'll agree that one's fine. But, like, when he fully transitioned, because he had to be Kamikaze, ka I was going to say Kamikaze. Kamikaze, yeah. You're close uh, to Kamikaze, Kage. <laughs> Kamikage, like. Okay. But, okay. We're, we can have, like, a separate debate on Naruto. Oh, we will. <laughs> we will. We can, we, um, we, uh, did, what about Gengar? Well, I'm looking at Gen 1 right now. I thought we put down Gengar. I swear did I thought I mentioned... No, I never mentioned it because I think Fraser just kept saying a bunch of mods. So when I thought of Gengar, yeah. I never said anything. Yeah. <gasps> so Gengar, Gengar is my well, for me personally, if I had to have a mon in Smash, it'd be Gengar. Like overall, like if you're gonna place a mon in, it, like when we're done with it being starters in the um in Smash. I think we could finally move on, and we could have, like, a Gengar in, and I think, like, people would be so hyped for it. He could, like, teleport place to place, like... Literally, um, his poke and move set just fits perfectly. It'd be, uh, he'd be fun. He'd be interesting. Shadow Ball, of course. Uh, I Shadow think it, Ball. I, think I feel like for a Final Smash, like, something with Dream Meter would be great, because, like, it kind of originated with him as a Pokemon. But, like, he puts you to sleep, and, like, if you he get He puts hit, you to sleep, and animation. it'd be, like... It'd be, like, a neat little animation, and then in the end it could have, like, it could turn into its gigant. Like, like, like it yeah. would it would first be, like, it, 
and then it yeah. would be its mega, like, like doing doing other stuff, and then in, in the end, its Pokémon like thing that it does, it would it would be its Gigantamax instead. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be nice. Well, I don't know what it does in Pokémon, but I have to look it up. But that, yeah. I oh, mean, its I, finisher I is so cool. I think it'd be nice. Come on, come on, come on. So yeah, Gengar for sure. We already talked about the Hitmons. I feel like we covered Gen One nicely. Can't think of anything else. We already have Eevee, of course. The only other thing I Dragon think we could talk Man. about is um is like a Snorlax. Hmm. I feel like we already have so many slow Pokemon already, though. Wouldn't like Snorlax be like too generic? You think? Like. Like, as an obvious choice. Well, I feel like he. Well, I know that we weren't. But but you said we were gonna be done with Gen One, so I wanted to bring up the mod. Oh, okay, okay. The only other mod I could really think of off the top of my head because I don't have um anything right now. How would you position it? Um, it would probably be like very defensive. Like even though it couldn't move that fast, like a lot of our mons are actually not that slow, like, the only other one I could think of is, um, Gudra, right? That would be the only other Torterra. really, like, bulky, oh, Torterra. Okay, other than, we had, th we have three of them, right? Okay. Like, it would work, it would be one of those heavy mons that could, like, crush you in the matter of seconds. Yeah. Like, like, I feel like it would definitely work a lot like King K, where, like, a, like, like, because of its body, it would just work as, like, its own shield. And then That'd for its final smash, it would probably be like an ultimate snore. Maybe even a she <laughs> like not not replenish. I wouldn't want that, but like a G Max like snore type of thing. So that's my thought. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. We need. I think there's more slow. There's more fast mods than slow. So. What about low punny? We did talk about low punny yesterday, but kind of more as a joke. Yeah. <laughs> um, would you like to talk about Low Punny? Uh, me or so? You. I mean, I feel like it's just an obvious candidate. I'm trying to like, I'm I'm scrolling through Gen One. I'm scrolling through the National Decks on Pokemon. I'll put it on your question mark territory. Because I'm kind of just looking for like unique ones. Like we had like Superior in there. Like that's like one you wouldn't add. Like. A fighting type or like one that or you know well not so exactly I player, so like again like, going going back bet. to like what was in Pokken and I can't believe I didn't mention this before I think a really cool mon to add would be Darkrai I was actually gonna I, I think I, I thought of that yesterday but I didn't say anything because I thought because legends and stuff we're gonna touch it we were gonna touch I... touch about today because we were like lagging a bit I think Darkrai would be so cool with like its voids like the fact that, like, a lot of its specials could probably be, like, it teleporting you with a void into, like, a move, or, like, it countering and teleporting you somewhere else would be hella dope. Not only that, but, like, like, like its final smash being able to take things in and just give your mod nightmares. Yeah, yeah, it like, would work be, like, a lot final like Gengar's, like, final smash that we just talked about, but I think the difference would be that would be a trickster nightmare, where this would be, like, a horror nightmare. Like, how that kid was, so I think Darkrai would work. Yep. Um, I'm, just going into, I'm just going into Gen 2. Alright, well, Gen um... Gen 2 was kind of small. Gen uh, 2 was really small. Um, I liked it, but it was very small. Aw, oh, uh... Questionable. Yo, what, what uh, mon? Fortress? question mark like rolling around uh you know rapid spin uh, spikes that kind of uh move set final move would be explosion because it is the explodey pokemon that's like a that's something i thought of like as a you know a question mark specific pokemon i'm just trying to see it honestly I feel like it could work, that but I feel just... like for a rolling mon, I know, I'll lay, like a really cool one would be like a Scolipede. Okay, yeah, that, that would be 
makes more sense. Yeah, instead of yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, or maybe instead of like doing skull people, what about Whirlipede itself? Like, I feel like we have a lot of final evos. Are we only sticking with final evos? I mean, I am. Oh, okay. Or I was. I mean. When we got to Gen 5, I was going to talk about Doowalk, because I actually kind of liked that the more I thought about it. Yeah, no, that's why I brought it up, because Lewis mentioned it yesterday. So, I, Doowalk... Fortress is like, nah. Um, Fortress is about. not... I was saying, I was thinking Scolipede could be like its running animation would be that. Not yeah, only I that, but like it could move like a lot faster throughout the match. Mm -hmm. And other stuff. Um, Jumping a gen, I think the lap bunny idea isn't bad either. I think that it's something that would work for sure. It would. Like, with, but like, I guess what's the, what's what could be like unique about its moveset or its final smash? I'm trying to think. Like, I guess mega evolve right and become like and do like a high jump kick, but then it's like, what else can we like? I guess its moveset would be positioned as more of like a traditional fighter, right? Yeah. Versus like punching, kicking. I guess mainly kicking because it's got huge feet. Um, so, yeah, that could actually work. Um, alright. Because I saw it on the screen right now. I was thinking Sneasel or, well, Weavile. I would like Sneasel or Weavile. With, like, Ice Shard. It'd be super fast. It'd be pretty much, like... It would like definitely Alaska. have, like, an ultimate Night Slash, like Greninja's move. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Dude, I remember when, when Greninja was, like, first revealed and they had the tournament for Smash... And, uh, they called its final Smash Ultimate Greninja. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, like, like, like the commentators. It was really funny. That's funny. That's sad. I liked it. Ultimate Greninja? Yeah, dude, that would've been I, funny. I mean, but they call it Night Slash, right? In, uh... No, yeah, it's Night Slash. Like, but now it's, uh, Ash. Or it's Ash, Gr Ash Greninja. Ash Greninja. Um, well, okay. That so, kind of round out Gen 2. I can't think of any other Gen 2 Pokemon that, like, speak Smash. Because, again, it is a small roster. T-Tar? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I looked at the pseudo just, the pseudo just now. T-Tar could be interesting. I think T-Tar would be interesting, especially. Like, I feel like it would definitely be, like, a sand. Like, like definitely rely on the sand. Like, um, like, you could have so it... Would that be, like, after? What? Like, would, would Sand kick up after it does its smash? Yeah. Ball ball? Yeah, and then, and like, like AOE and then it would time. be, like, an ultimate, like, Stone Edge thing. I think that'd be really cool. And, like, the Sand does, like, trickle damage for, like, 30 seconds after a match or something. That yeah. That backs up. Yeah. That'd be interesting. And, like, f I feel like for a hold, it's, if it does, like, a, you know, like, when you do a grab, like, a mini stone edge, like, where it grabs them in, like, a bunch of rocks and, like, keeps pummeling them with them. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Um. So, do you think that rounds out Gen 2? Um, there are a couple others. I, um, well, first of all, because I have to be a biased prick, I gotta mention Typhlosion. Ah, <laughs> yes. Typhlosion. He's already tech. he's been in a hack. Oh. Yeah, so there is that. Um, so his moveset isn't like out there. Be probably like flame wheel. Yeah, probably like very fire based. Like Incineroar hat. It would be a like sort of like Incineroar, but like it'd be a lot more fiery. I guess like it would ha it would take like its fire moves essentially, even though it doesn't have a lot of them. Um, and I feel. Like a final smash I think would be really cool is Eruption. Yeah. Because I feel like it started with, like, that's like the one Pokemon I, I attribute Eruption with, at least. Yep. Uh, like, it lets off a volcano and, like, you know, rocks fly everywhere. And, like. Um, other than that, um, you want to talk about diversity, we could talk about, uh, uh, Kingdra. I was actually looking at Kingdra, but I guess... Considering Kingdra has, like, no hands, I feel like most of it would rely on no its way. head and tail whip and, like, range attacks. So then, like, how could we position range attacks, like, Bubble Beam, Dragon Pulse? I mean, they would just work, like, ranged attacks. You know? Okay. 
So, I guess... And then, how... Alright, alright, alright. You, um... You do your... Con uh, you continue the conversation. I'll write stuff down, okay? Oh, bye. What happened? Uh, I gotta take a call. Oh, okay. Alright, um... So then... Yeah, with Kingsra, I feel like Bubble Beam would be interesting. And that could, like, slow people down for a second. Or two. Uh, but for a final smash, I mean, Soul, if you have any other recommendations or want to chime in, feel free to at any time. If you're still here. Um, but, yeah, I feel like... How could we... I'm kind of... I like the idea of it now that we're talking about it. It's just, like, how could we position a final smash for this Pokemon? Let's see. Another obvious one would be Breloom, if you haven't mentioned it. It could be close mid-range. Bullet Punch being mid-range and having elemental close punches, okay. Final Smash would be effect score, giving each an opponent a chance to be effect like sleeping process. That actually is really interesting, because that... I actually like that a lot. I mean, we'll come back to Kingdra, but you mentioned that because I like the Final Smash, because we've been focusing mainly on, like, actually doing damage, where some Final Smashes don't, like, Peaches, I think, just gives a bunch of hearts, which is kind of stupid, but, like, you know, I think it's cool to have a unique Final Smash that doesn't involve doing damage and and it could potentially based on like poison and stuff with the paralysis with those effects board but I think that the RNG portion would be really interesting and fun to have and I can see the elemental punches like bullet punch and then uh, headbutt would be really big for it Cl thunder fire ice punch high jump kick um, any grass moves it learns I think it would be interesting bullet seed so I think I think it'd be a really good choice and uh, Ak I'd like to hear what you think after you get off your call but yeah, I agree. That's a really cool one. Um, Kingdra, going back to Kingdra now for the final smash. I think this is a really like solid Dragon Pulse. Like I, I for some reason I attribute this Pokemon with Dragon Pulse, and like because it's actually I guess the ability Sniper. And I know we talked about this for Intellion yesterday, where it's like final smash would be like a Sniper. But I feel like it'd be cool to have this one as like a Sniper as well. Unless. But not with, yeah, yeah, exactly. Not dragon. Instead of using like a water move, it'd be a dragon ball snipe shot. Like it'd be like a very precision like kind of move, and it'd be. Or instead of actually doing that, we could do something. As generic as it sounds, it could be like similar to how I forget who, but like the final smash where there's just like a big beam of light that like covered the entire arena and do like a solid bunch of damage unless you jump over it. Like I could see dragon balls being like damage just like that. Um, but, you know, we can probably position it so that based on wherever you're, you know, positioning the, your stick, so if it's facing, like, in the diagonal direction, when you activate the smash, you'll do a Dragon Pulse ultimate final smash in that direction. So diagonal up, right, left, you know, stuff like that. I think that'd be interesting, allowing it to, like, have that, like, tilt feature where you can choose where to pre-set its, pre-determine its location. So... Kingdra, Breloom I like. I kind of, I mean, we can come back to Gen 2 if we need to when Act comes back. But I, I can't, I don't see any Pokemon scoring through this that kind of seem like they stand out right now. Um, going on to Gen 3, we talked about the starters ready. Um, scrolling through the bug Pokemon and the beginning Pokemon, not much. Shift Tree now, Shift Tree is an interesting one. I think that'd be like a question mark for how I think of it. Love Braylon. Yeah, it's awesome. That's a good one. Shiftry is interesting. Um, now, I know we mentioned no to Gallade, but what about Gardevoir? Uh, I think Gardevoir would be cool because we could set its final smash to be akin to its Pokedex entry. Or entries where it mentions it, it'll like make a black hole for its trainer. It'll go as far to make a black hole for the trainer to save them. So like the final smash could be like making a mini black hole and sucking up users in like a vortex within a certain radius, and then doing like AOE damage. And then it does AOE damage continuously, and you can shoot them with, you know, psychics, or psi waves, shadow balls, you know, dazzling gleams, moon blasts, and. Those would be regular moves, but then you, while they're stuck in the gravity of the black hole, taking continuous AoE damage for a certain amount of time, you could still do stack damage on top of that. And then at the end, it just collapses on itself and blows up and shoots everyone in a different direction. The black hole, that is. 
And then again, like Moonblast, Psychic, Psybeam, Psywave, all those would be like its kind of moves. Fairy type, uh, you know, Dazzling Gleam for like a stun, I think would be cool um, if it lands. For shields, it could put up like a Reflect or something. Cigar so being played similar to Zelda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like very floaty, reflecty. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. So we can we can put that, talk about it when that gets back. Well, of course, Breloom is right here. We got Breloom already. Um, let's see. Now, I know that we haven't like talked about. Um, I was gonna say Vigoroth instead of slacking because Vigoroth is very. But I feel like Vigoroth is like one of those like. I feel like I don't know unless we can position it somehow. I feel like it would just be too generic, like, you know, with, like, Brave Loom and, like, Lopunin them, it was a bit easier to come up with something, but with Vigoroth, it's, like, it's, I just can't think of anything for Vigoroth that would be, like, to it. Like, maybe Retaliate, because that was, like, the move for slacking. Um, but we can talk about it after. Now, what I see here is Exploud. Uh, I think that'd be really interesting, being a sound-based one. Uh, where, you know, really sound waves would be its biggest thing. Yeah. It has like little horns on around. Its horns are like, have like open holes. So like sound can boost out of that. So like its up smash could be like it pumping it up and like doing like an air blast above it. You know, it, its arms, I think, has some of that capability or its knees. So it could blast stuff out from its knees. And like its final smash could be. Um, like a super loud, like, not sonic boom, but like boom burst or something, where it does, um, where it hits someone and stuns them, um, for like, after doing a decent amount of damage, so then you can go at them again, because they just get dazed with the sound, something like that. So I think x would be pretty unique. Um, let's see what else is going through this list. I see... I know we mentioned Rosary, so I don't want to say Roselli. I think Rosary is a great one. It would be fast poster. What would be a fast poker like Marth? Give the growth strong tippers. And like an ape like movement, I could see it being very different. So make him like a very fast, like in and out kind of Pokemon. Like it's like kiting where he goes in, backs out a bit, goes in, backs out a bit. I think it'd be, be I think it'd be unique to position it compared to having the slacking. So I do agree with that. That'd be pretty cool. Nice. Um, let's see. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Um, now. I think Sharpedo. Now I'm looking at Sharpedo. I think Sharpedo would be pretty fun. Because I can imagine it's like Final Smash, like being it becomes Mega, and like maybe it be called the Final Smash be called Fish Frenzy, uh, where like it, it, it like hits them, it's a one, it's a single target hits the opponent, and then it calls on a, a bunch of Sharpedos, and they all go like doing like crunch attacks and like bite attacks and stuff like in like a swarm, and then the final one being like turning into the Mega. So all of them are regular, then the main one that you are turns into a Mega and does like, I don't know what signature move would be, but like some type of move to finish them off. And like, it's just a very strong single target move. And I think it, we could position it as being like a fast Pokemon where it could be swifty around um, the, you know, fields. It would have a, I feel like it's vertical would be a problem though. Like we could give it like water flutter surf, which we did do for other Pokemon, but I feel like for recovery, that'd be kind of hard to position it for how to, unless you guys have an idea how to re it recover. But that's a potential Pokemon we can add to that list. Um, uh, oh yeah, so looking, uh, the other one I just looked at now in Gen 3, I feel like Cacnea would be pretty cool. Um, outside of Cacturn because of its spike clubs and all that stuff. I think it'd be pretty fun. Like, it has the ability to, like, extend its spikes a bit more and, like, reach out and do damage or something. But that's another, I guess, question mark. We can always talk about that once I can get back. Um, 
Now, going towards the scrolling past more. Uh, I, I can't think of anything right now for Gen 3. I don't want to say anything else. I'm gonna see what Ak has to say or maybe useful. So I'm, for Gen 3 at least. So if we go to Gen 4. We talked about all of them except Inferni in terms of starters, so Totara and Polya make the cut. I agree with that. That was that's pretty and Rosary's in here. Cause very cool Pokemon. And I know Vespaquin was mentioned yesterday, but I think Ak and I both agree that it'd be kind of awkward to like position it. Ambipom. I think Ambipom would be really fun. Um, specifically because well it has its tails for a mechanic, so I can see it as a recovery where like it can reach extend its tails like super crazy and use them as pans because it does in the anime, I think. Um, double hit being one of its basic moves, um, doing a lot of combos with its um, four hands essentially, mainly its two tails, I think would be unique. Um, being very like fast moving and flexible, so like you can grab onto ledges around the maps. If they have like platforms and stuff, it'd be easy for you because considering you're a monkey, you can hang off of them potentially and like hit people below you. So, above you, so imagine you're like on a platform, you use the tail to hang off of it and you can like hit people below if you can make it quick enough. Uh, probably more optimal when you're doing like eight people smash because it's all like messed up anywhere and you can't really focus. I think Epipon would be pretty interesting. Just can't think of how you would position a final smash for it um, because there's nothing that speaks to me in terms of like. When I think of a move, like I'm like, yeah, I think of that. Or when I think of ability, like I think a double hit, because I think that's where it started. But double hit, I don't know if it's like cool enough, because it's literally just whacking people with its tail. So it'd have to be one of those like far. I feel like it'd be, have to be a far fetch one, no pun intended, where we would have to just think of something that you know you wouldn't see it doing. Like kind of like how Mario does like a super fire flash or something, like. Yeah, he does a fireball, but they had so many other power-ups they either chose, but they went with that. But it still works. I think it'd just be like us having to think outside the box at that point. But, um... So, maybe Pump's another potential one. And seeing it now, I think... Yeah, so we did talk about Lapa Neo. Um... What else do we got? What else do we got? Car is already in the game. Snorlax already got. Oh yeah, another like I guess obvious one. Think of anything except a large Swift for a final search. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, maybe maybe it's like a like a bunch of like stars just like falling from the sky and like because it is like Swift animation and like hitting the opponents in like an AOE kind of way. Probably something like that. Uh, but I'm looking at it right now. Toxicroak. As generic as it may sound, because I think it's a fighting type. I think, again, similar to the twin needle mechanic, whatever, poisons, I think Toxic Crow could be cool, where, like, it's like, you know, special move is like a quick poison jab that has, like, a small chance to do a uh, dot damage and damage over time. Um, so, like, I think Poison Jab would be a cool new neutral. Um, and, like, the final smash, I could probably see him do, like, a combo poison jab and then finishing them off would be, I guess, I don't know, maybe Night Slash, but I, again, this is a Pokemon I, I attribute, I feel like others may Poison Jab with, so that could be something we work out. I think it has a Toxic Sack, so maybe like spitting out poison at people for like a range attack. Alright, yeah, no problem. Grab that package. Um, so then... We talked about Weavile. Uh, we talked about Electivire. I, I, I know we kind of like said no to Rapier, Tangrowth, and like Mortar. Um, and Gallad, we said no. Right, that's the end of the list for these. And we talked about Darkrai already. So I'm going to go into Gen 5. And we can always come back when Act comes back. Because I'm pretty sure he'll have... Because I want to hear what he thinks about these. And also want to hear what other Pokemon we didn't see that he thinks would be a good idea too. But I think... I don't want to pick too many, as of course, then I'll just like oversaturate the list. Um, so we're going to Gen 5. We talked about Servine already. We skipped out on Embor. 
Dewat, you know, me and Ak will save that for you because I know you mentioned that and Lewis mentioned it yesterday. I agree that it's a good idea. I want to hear what you think about it too. So we can save that for when you come back. Um, so I think something cool now, similar to the Hitmon tops, and I know like it's a new, it's like a repeating mechanic, but what if we took the monkey, semi sage, semi seer, and semi poor? Because it's something where we can like switch between them. I think that'd be pretty cool because. In essence, they're like the same type of monkey, and it doesn't have to be the switching mechanic. It could be like yeah. echoes, potentially. And we shove them like up our you, butts. I like how you do like a burp. Yeah, dude. So connection I don't know if lost. Heard... We were unable to establish connection. That's fair. Not not the stream. We're good on the stream. Okay, good. You scared me. All right. So what did we mention while I was gone? Oh, you didn't hear, did you? So I heard Kingdra and Braylon. We're good on the Kingdra thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're feeling it? All right. So I got down. All right. So Kingdra, Braylon. And then after that, I had mentioned um, Gardevoir. Gardevoir? I'm just going to say their names. Gardevoir, Vigoroth, Exploud. Mm. Uh... Tito, Cacnea, and uh, I think that rounded out Gen 3 for me because I didn't want to add Cacnea? Any more. Yeah. That was a, some of them were question marks. Alright. We got Guard of War, which I actually can see. We have Cacnea. Which I actually can't- I can see that over Cacturn. Like, that's such a- that's so unique. And what was the other one you mentioned? Ex Explode and Vigoroth? And Sharpedo. Uh, Vigoroth I love. Yeah, so I mentioned Vigoroth. Explode I love. Sharpedo would be kind of hard to position. Like, I thought of a Final Smash, but like, the way he's like- he's literally like a fish, so it'd be like, a fish out of water. Oh, or a shark out of water, but would have to that that was a question mark for me because i didn't know how else we could position its uh move set besides its final smash so we don't have to we, i think that's safe to scratch off but i didn't say anyone else after that because i didn't know and i moved on to gen 4 um at that point but i also wanted to wait until you uh because I, I didn't i added whatever i wanted to add potentially and then i was like let's wait to see what you have to add as well so Boo. So, what you think? Oh, wait. Anything else? Hold on, hold on. One last thing I have to do. Uh-huh. Welcome back to... Yeah, Ak is uh, back. He's finishing some stuff. Ak up. is back. We're just going over the list of Gen three that we mentioned. Sharpedo's getting crossed Sharpedo. off. Sharpedo. We can we can ax him, but then it's up to you to figure out the others that you wanted to add in, if any. Because I didn't want to add in too many. Metagross. Yeah, I was looking at Metagross. <laughs> I think I feel like it's it's too it's kind of explanatory, like its move set. Floaty. Um, oh yeah, that would be it. Would be hella dope. Meteor Smash would probably be its final smash. Something cool like that, I think, would be nice. Um, oh, do, 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 do. I'm just thinking. Maybe we could do a. Um, I was maybe not Deoxys. Kind of thing to yeah. I feel like a lot of the legendaries would be what essentially is our bosses, like in a <laughs> boss rush. I don't see the Gen three legendaries fitting in too much. I feel like yeah, like like. But you agree with me? Like they'd be a lot. They a lot of them would just be like boss rushes, over mm -hmm. like actual playable characters. Characters, yeah, yeah. Like I can see like a boss Rayquaza or like a boss Deoxys or Ground on Kyogre. But I think. So, do you have anyone else, Ted, in Gen 3? 
and then I don't don't you remember I hate Gen three so obviously oh, not. Yeah. I'm kidding All no. Right. Hold on, I, I actually do have 4. one thing. <clears throat> Ludicolo. Okay, yeah, I was looking at. I, I didn't say that, but yeah. How was, was fucking cool, yeah. great would the, it would be like? He'd play music for his Final Smash. It'd be like a musical dance. type of thing. I think it'd be really cool. So yeah, Ludicolo. It'd be like a dance bomb. Everyone's boogieing and you right. just beat them up while they dance. Let's move on to Gen four. Oh yeah, and then Gen four I mentioned. Um, all I had said for Gen 4 was, uh, Ambipom, mm -hmm. uh, and Toxicroak, mm. and that's all I said. Gen 4 is actually pretty small, too, but mm -hmm. I was waiting for you to see what you wanted to, because we already had a lot of we already said no to Vespa Quinn and some others, so do you have anyone you would think that would be fitting? Drapion. Well, for, for, for Ambipom, we talked about in chat, his final smash would probably have to be with Swift. Because I think double hit would be mainly one of its main moves it uses, but I'm not is a there fan. Else? I don't Ambipom? like. Like I'm not. I'm not feeling it. For what? Ambipom. Oh, you're not. No. Okay. I was why? gonna say Drapion. Wait, why? Yeah. Oh, Drapion. Mm. Okay, oh, yeah. so okay. why no Ambipom? I don't know. I just I can't see it. Like. Like, um, I just feel like anything that we could do with Ambipom could be done with literally anyone else. <laughs> yeah, and I get, like, Double Hit is technically exclusive to it. In the game it was, yeah, for that, like, gen. But yeah, I get that, yeah. But Drapion would be interesting. Drapion would be, like, really cool. It would definitely work a lot like Beedrill with its stingers, but it would be, like, actually walking. This would be kind of more like a slow version of it. Yeah. Hey, Frazier. Final Can't Smash, no idea. Uh, Cross Poison? Probably. Yeah. Thanks for the notification. Yeah, I didn't get a notification either. You I looked on my Twitch phone. You for 7 bro? That's what I do. What? <laughs> You know, stare at Twitch 24-7, bro? That's what I do. Oh, sure, you're right. Yeah, that was good. No, yeah. one day I want to do a 24-7 live stream. Hopefully, like, sure, when we move. Safe. Or maybe, like, maybe, maybe if I, <gasps> maybe when my friends come for uh, sp their spring break, we can do a 24-hour live stream. <laughs> hey, maybe yeah. they'll finally do near. Hey, maybe they'll finally play near then. Oh my god, that's so fun. That would be so fucking funny, actually. That that's the one time I tell them go nuts on near. Um, yeah, twenty four hour live stream. Why not? I don't care. We do a live one of these. Um, we could probably play different games too. You only took what twenty hours? Might do a near. That'd be hella fun. Um. Anyone else in Gen 4, you think? Gen 4. Gen 4. So, again, I don't have anything open. So, like... And, honestly, nothing... No raids are popping up. Nothing's been good. I'm honestly just gonna go to the Duraludin. And I'll just pop up the National decks. He's gonna start resetting for it? No, 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 no. I'm just putting it on there. I hated Gen 4, so I don't have an opinion... Whoa! <gasps> All right, I'm gonna. No, man, that's a that's a fight night. Okay, we'll bring him in. It'll be you versus him, and I'll like moderate. But that'll be a fight night stream. <laughs> Whoa! I I mean I we were gonna do a we I I was thinking like you would talk about why you you didn't like Gen Seven the most. I was gonna do Gen Three, and I guess Soul can join us for Gen Four at this point. But then we gotta talk about like why we love like the one. I was thinking like it'd be the opposites because you love Gen Four, he hates Gen Four. I love Gen Three, you hate Gen Three. So it'd be oh, like that makes sense. A debate, kind of like one on one debate. That I mean, your format works too, but then that would kind of I feel like that would just be on. An that'd opinion. be so many topics though. That would like, uh, that would be, and we're barely making it through here. So yeah, so uh, yeah, we need structure. <laughs> all, all right, all right, all right. I like yours better. Let's leave it alone. All right, so 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 we could we could do like a refresh of all of the uh, of all of the gens when we're done. So we're going with Gen Four. 
We already have Star Raptor, because we did that as the Echo. Luxray, nah. Roserade, we got. Vespa Quinn, we got. Ambipalm, I, I redacted. Oh, um, we're doing Vespa Quinn, okay. No, yeah, that wasn't one of our question marks. I just thought with one of with bees that would be cool. Um, Obama oh, Snow yeah. would work like how how I mentioned uh, Tyranitar, but instead of sand, it would Rocks, be ice. It'd be ice, yeah, hail, yeah. Um. <laughs> Anyone hate Gen Five? No, I like Gen Five. <laughs> I don't hate Gen Five. I used to. I don't. <gasps> <gasps> no, well, that was before I didn't play the games, and it was during my, like, COD phase, so I wasn't, like... Screw Pokemon. Yeah, I was, like, under yeah. a screw Pokemon type of thing, and then three years later, my friend t um, told me. Um, I'm seeing Gliscor. I was looking at that one. I'm seeing... Licky Licky. <laughs> yo, yo, okay. <laughs> so you're gonna hate me, because I'm about to mention so many mons. I'm thinking Licky Licky. How fucking fun. That would be our troll pick. I think that'd be a fun pick. Alright, Licky Licky with, like, its tongue would be Roll hella out. dope. Tongue tongue tonguing, oh my god, tongue uh, uh, Like, using its tongue to, like, grab onto ledges and Like, I and feel stuff. like a lot of people hate Licky Licky, and I'm just like, eh. It's so obscure, like, it's like it's the last so one funny. on my mind. Like, it's like a Licky Tongue evolves into, like, a fancy Licky Tongue. <laughs> Literally, it's a fancy Licky Tongue. Yeah, I can't... Yeah, I, 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 I don't hate on, I can't hate on Gen 5, I just, after, like, actually playing it myself, I just, like, love Gen 5. Just, like, yeah. Yes, it could be a Yoshi. Oh my <laughs> god, it could have Yoshi's grab! Wait, when it, like, when it, like, gets people with its tongue? Ugh. Okay. Togekiss. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. How dope would that be? Like, we kept mentioning, what about flying. some flying types? Togekiss. Yeah. Yep. Flying the Has it some, like, fairy types? It would be Throw a lot more, smash. like... I feel like uh, Togekiss would be a lot more glidey. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I feel like it'd be hard to control. Yeah, like, hard, like... Togekiss, like, um... Easy to, easy to, like, um, learn, hard to master type of deal. Mm -hmm. I think that would be hella dope. Yeah. Um, I see Glyscore. score. Yep. Um, That's kind of, yeah. and, like, its final smash would probably be, like, Giga Impact, like, in the anime. Oh, okay, yeah. That'd be yeah. Cool. Did we mention Rotom? We did. Last, yesterday? Okay. I loved that pick, by the way. Like, I remember I just went off on that one. Rotom? Yeah. Um, Mamo Swine. We're going gen by gen. We're in gen four right now. Yeah. We'll probably get to be where. I want to so go with. I want to go with Mamo Swine. Okay. All the, I, the Evos. Um. Evolutions. Mm -hmm. Like, like I feel like Mamo Swine would be like definitely like a rusher type of thing where like it would charge at you a lot. I feel like that would be like its type of move set. Along with, like, maybe, like, it would be, like, for the game only, it can, like, throw its tusks as, like, a boomerang. Oh, uh, like a projectile? <laughs> yeah, I feel like that'd be funny. And then, like, what, a final smash is, like, uh, either ancient power or, like, a... Icicle uh, crash. Avalanche? Icicle crash, yeah. Icicle crash. There we go. Would definitely be its move. Yeah. Um, yeah, if anybody... Also, if anybody has any interesting rates, post them in chat. <laughs> Because there is nothing interesting popping up that I could join. So that's why we're just staring at Duraludin. Um, Dust in a Wire. I feel like it would it would work like would the mix. To... So would I think it would be Gengar? like... So I was gonna... I was about to mention this. So I think it would have a switch. It would be in the mix of a Gengar and a Golurk. Okay. Like it would kind of be like bo like a floaty Golurk. And for its final smash, it would probably be like, um, it you would probably it would probably like take you into like its middle like section, cause the, I think that's like floaty, and then like you would basically get hexed, like that. I think that'd be cool, and oh, and Porygon Z. Oh. 
I think that would be very diverse. That would be unique. Like, the fact that, like, it can move faster and, um, other How stuff. What does final be? Tri-beam. Or tri- Is it tri-beam? Oh, okay. Tri-attack. Tri-attack. Tri yeah. But instead of tri-attack, it'd be a giant tri-beam. Mm, okay. So, Pori, Don, Z. I'm sorry. I love those, like... I, like, I miss regular mods, not Galarians, getting, uh, evolutions. Yep. I want a baby lepers, but that's just me. Oh, I want a, I want a baby cow that can, that males evolve in the Tauros, and females evolve into mill tanks. <laughs> That'd be cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That'd be really cool, actually. Robin's down B for a ghost type. What's Robin's down B? Um, Amaterasu? Oh. So is that rounding out Gen 4 for us? Um, for we now. Got a lot from, yeah, we got a lot from Gen 4. Gen 4, cool. well, it's because we both really love Gen 4. Yeah. So that's not really shocking to me. Now it's for the garbage generation. No Svaratu, that's what it was. Alright. Garbage generation time. Uh, none of them, because they all suck. So, let's skip to 6. But it got better. Lull. Um, Excadrill? Hold on. <laughs> Skip it. Uh, Excadrill, 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 Excadrill. Well, you're gonna move to Gen 4, though, right? What? Oh, yeah, we're. we're oh, Gen on. 5, I mean. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was thinking Excadrill would be so, interesting. So, um. Dig. Let's just move right past Embor. The Embor line. Um, hold on. Actually. Oh, wait. I, had th I, I mentioned, I forgot to mention with Gen 5. Um, the, I was thinking about something with the monkeys similar to the hip on top, so we switched them in. Semi Sage, Semi Seer, Semi Poor, and do like a I was thinking trio. it would be a lot more like just three Echoes. Oh, that works too. And then they do like a pledge or something. Because like, they're, they're too pledge. different. That is true, I guess. But yeah, I mean, I think they'd still work. Um, and then pledges could help with, like, rounding them out. But I don't know what you think. Well, obviously, I'm calling out my favorite, Galvantula. <laughs> um, when we get to that one on our list, we can. Just give me a sec. I don't know if I can. Uh, if you can, the HDMI cord should be in... The living room. Okay, so we got um monkeys each as their own. Uh, we got Galvantula. I also love Galvantula. I just hate getting so many Galvantulas uh, like in this game. <laughs> raids. Mm. All them raids. Yo, Zebstrika? Okay, so we're on Excadrill. I like it. Yeah, I mentioned Excadrill. I feel like it would be like a super fast version of um of our idea for um uh Tyranitar. Oh yeah. Um, what else? Uh, you said Zeb Striker? Mm -hmm. I can see it. Why not? I'll put him down. Zeb Striker. Um, I should probably time out, time when I, when the, that happens. Gigalith. Hmm. Ooh, Seismatoad? Actually, bet. I'm down. Seismatoad is, like, one of my favorite. It was, like, one of my favorite mons I discovered when I played 5th gen for the first time. Oh. Yeah, I like it. It's, like, low-key. Pretty cool. And, like, everybody, like, sleeps on Seismatoad, to be honest. Everybody sleeps on Gen 5. Yeah, because... Nice. Because not a lot of, because a lot of people dropped off during Gen 5. Yeah, like, the people... The generation that played 1 through 4 was, like... Peace, and they came back. They were at like six. peace, and they came back for six because they saw 3D and megas, mostly megas. But 
And then, and then, uh, they were just like, oh my god, gimmicks are the things that would do it. We need a new gimmick. And it's just like, nope, it's Megas. Literally just Megas. Oh, like, so actually... got a five-star Tyranitar raid. Ooh. Cool. I'm still finding time for black. Cool Alright. Cool. We finally have something to do on stream. Eat. Alright, so we got Excadrill Seismic Toad. What are you talking about? Like, Skullipede. Uh, I put it Crudile, down. Darmanitan. Crudo, we got Darmanitan, we not. But we got a lot. Bisharp? Bisharp would be... Yeah, that's obvious. Bisharp. Um... You, Yo, whenever you're Scavalier. ready to put it up, Soul. What? It's Cavalier. I can see it. I think Scavalier would be fun. Scavalier, Bisharp. I know there's one more. I think there was one more. I think I got... Oh, oh, we gotta talk about Gal Galvantula. Mm. Um, um, I like it. I think that... Uh, I think but, that instead of being slow, I think that it could make its opponent slow. Yeah, like spider web and stuff. Electro web and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, screw Ariados. Um, yep. Oh, we already had Haxorus. Damn, we have a legend. Oh, yo, Chandelure? Finally mm. have something to do on stream, do on stream, do on stream. Dude, Finally we maxed have something out. to do That's on stream. Gen 5 right there. Goal alert. Do I bring? Got... Oh! <gasps> this is the first Tito raid I've seen. Well, yeah. There are Um, yeah. I think it's time we bring him. Do it. But I think I need to... Soul... Oh, Soul can't back out. He's already accepted. Oh, yeah. Alright, Yeah, you on. got this. Just bring whoever. Uh, I wanted to... I wanted to level him up more, but... Flex. Let's flex. Alright. Yo, a Selgor? Gotta go fast? So, I think, like, both of them would work. It would be, like, an Aselgor with, like... With, like, um, technically an echo of it, like, like a Scavalier with its echo of a Selgor. Mm -hmm. But, like, but they'd be, it would be like a Ken and Ryu type situation where they're, like, really different. Yeah, but they're still cool. kind of the because, same, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. That'd be nice. A Scavalier. I feel, and that, like, we have a lot of Gen 5 at that, like that. Selgor. Echo. Um, with a Selgor. Um, what did we mention before? Oh, Bisharp and a Scavalier, right? Mm -hmm. And then, what was the other Mon we mentioned? Oh, Galvantula. Yep. I feel like we definitely lack in the, um, electric-type department with all of our picks. Um, anyways. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Kind of rounds out that like after Selgor, I mean, I mean after B Sharp. Um, we have a we have like a very too many ghost types. Otherwise, I would have mentioned Cofagrigus. Yeah, we have a lot. Um, I kind of don't want to put another dragon in there. Hydreigon would be kind of weird. I want Hydreigon. You do? How how would we position that? So Hydreigon would be a floaty dragon. Right? It could have, like, all the dragon moves, but it would fly. Okay. And its final smash would basically be, like, um... Probably, Trigo. like, a Cerberus type of thing. Oh, like, three... All the heads doing, like, a... Yeah, all the heads attack. just doing an attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um... I'm gonna okay. mention it. I think Genesect. Yeah. To round it out, I think Genesect. Yep, finish up, because there's a lot of Gen 5 we added, but yeah, Genesect is a um, I Um, I just think it would be, like, super cool to be, like, a robot-ish mon. Please tell me I didn't die. Cool. As long as I don't die. Multiple combos, yeah. That'd be cool. Don't die, don't die? Okay, sense. cool. Um, Genesect, yeah, and, like, like um, its specials could be based off of its, like, boosts. The drives. Well, yeah, like it's drives. I think I think it'd be super cool. Mm -hmm. Unique. 
Um, anyways, let us flex. Should I, should I do max depletion? No, yeah. never mind. It's not going to do it. It, it doesn't show, like, an actual, like, animation. So I'm just going to do steel spike. Uh, blah, 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 blah. If we didn't have, if we didn't mention a lot of bug types, I also would have mentioned Volcarona. But. Next up, we're moving on from literally all of these, uh, gen si uh, six starters. Um, no. 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 Aegislash. Aegislash double, Age slash double yeah. Yeah. I really like Aegislash and Pokémon. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, let's just throw him in there. We don't really need to justify. I think it's a. Uh, I think like anything, if we just say Pokémon, justified. Um. Clotzer. Clotzer, I can see. Is there, like a nice Hydro Cannon or something. Um, Halucha. I think Halucha would be so cool. That 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 should have been in Pokémon. Should have been what? It should have been in Pokémon. <laughs> I think it'd be cool because it'll fly I was, around. So I was gonna say attacks. Malamar. Malamar. I like Malamar. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Malamar. What is it? Clotzer. Clotzer. Halucha. Clotzer. I don't know how to spell some of these. Halucha. 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 Dude. There's barely a Pokedex in Gen 6. I just realized that. Holy you didn't shit. know that? You know, uh, do you know how many mods are actually in the, in the 6th Gen Pokedex? No. 69. I'm pretty Dude, sure, yeah. this is so small. Yeah. I love these games, but I just realized how, like, so small the decks are. Do you know that. why? And say it with me, folks. Of... Gen 6 is unfinished. Wow. Where is Southern Kalos? Where is Southern Bring me Southern Gallows. Right. I think, I don't know. I don't see anything else in Gen 6 that speaks out. I, I want to see Golurk fly. Me too. Right. I think, I don't know. I don't, I'm done with Gen 6 personally. I don't know if you want to add anything, but I don't see anything else worth mentioning. Tre uh, I, w I would say Trevenin, maybe. Yeah, Trev, yeah. yeah top Trev. I could see... We have so many mons that are like it, though, but, like, I, I I, feel like Hoopa could, like, either would work as a really good boss or as a character. But we have, but we have, we, but we have Darkrai and, like, Gengar, and I can only really see, like, the moveset, like, be like that. Yeah. Too so. much repeat, I feel, then. And then same with Trevenin. Even though it's grass, it would kind of be the same thing as, like, all of our ghost types we mentioned. Like, ghost types have been done to death. Anyways, let's move on. In, uh, speaking of ghost types, Decidueye. I like it. I, I, I'm I sorry. Like, everybody says Decidueye is crap now, and I'm like... A lot I of people say that. It's so cool. Because of its competitive stuff. Well, man, people care too much about It's not... Yeah, I know. It's, it's just cool. like, I, I like I've always it's loved Decidueye. I, I think the whole line is the best designed... Yeah, fuck Incineroar, fuck Primarina. I, I no, I actually like Incineroar and Primarina's design. Brion's cool. Brion's bad. But like, should have been fighting. And no, like I like them, but like compared to Decidueye, I don't yeah. like them. Incineroar is like the second best. Primarina should have just been female only. It really like, should have. Like, like, why can't like starters just have a fifty-fifty? Yep. Yep. Anyways. Okay, Decidueye, I agree. Um. That's for sure. Uh, uh, what about the Oracorio line? Where, like, you can, like... I can see it. Finesse it, you know, change its form. Mm -hmm. From Baile, Pom Pom, Pau, and Sensu. I, I see that'd it. That'd be pretty fun. Um, Lycanroc Day Night, maybe? Depending on maybe the stage you're on or something? I don't know. Uh, that I could also see. Like, a Lycanroc... Changing midday and night, or dusk or dawn. Like or I just feel like um it would just be an all change for like its skins, except like oh, well, it would be programmed to move like different. Mm. Yeah. Also, watch me not finish. Also, watch me just because we're doing this, 
is how I finish my Pokédex. That like all this whole series. Um, bruh. All right. Uh, let's see. Anything of interest? Toxic Room, Galvantula, Araquanid, Salazzle. Uh, B where it was brought up by uh. Alac. Uh, Salazzle. I could see. Salazzle. Yeah. Fraser brought up B where. Uh, earlier. I would love Beware. I think that'd be super fun. Yes. Bear hug, snap your neck. Beware. Or back, I should say. Um. Araquanid, no. Mudsdale, eh. Yeah. Toxapex. No, I feel like that would just be a great Pokeball Mon. We already mentioned uh, Galissapod, I think. Galissapod, we have written down. Alosan? The problem I have with ghost block. types is that we have already yeah. mentioned every so ghost many. type. Like, all yeah. of our concepts were well, ghost honestly, type. Honestly, I forgot it was a ghost type. <laughs> so. And not only that, that, but, like, anything we could do with, like, its sand, it would just reflect on it being a ghost type. Yeah. yeah it would just be, like, a muck with sand instead, yeah. Yeah. Um, Mimic you already mentioned. And now we're at the legendaries. <laughs> so... Yeah, because uh, there's like have... a billion of them. Yeah. Any, um, Kamo, no. Uh, anything that speaks out to you, legendary, mythical. Everything or seems like it would just be Not a Nadeau. boss. What? Not gonna do. And I feel like that's too similar to our boy, Twin Needle. Uh, yeah. Be true. Mel Metal. Mel Metal, yeah. Mel Metal. Zero Aura. Never Even though it's technically a Gen 1 Mon. Fight me otherwise. Scrubs. Wait, what happened? It's a Gen 1 Mon. What, Mel Metal? Yeah. Why? Because it was introduced in a Gen 1 game. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. It's a pseudo legendary, isn't it? Yeah, but you. I mean, you could fight me, okay. but. Oh, no, no. I'm just wondering because it's based out of 600. I'm just making sure no, it's pseudo. It's... It's, yeah, no, no, it's not a pseudo. I thought it was just a legend. Oh, it is based at six hundred. Or at least a mythical. Oh, although, maybe. although I, although I, I'm a scrub. I consider them the same thing. Mythical is legend, uh -huh. and, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. Ultra Beast, all of them are legendaries. Per, like, 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 tell me I'm wrong. They are, I think. I remember Alex saying that they are legendaries. No, 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 no. Alex, Alex kept mentioning that they aren't. No, he does. He mentioned it last time. No, I thought he says that they're all different. Oh. Or like he oh. he because because the Pokemon company described them as different. He oh, says I that they're know. different. Oh, I don't know. I thought I don't. Last time, I think but technically whatever. they're all just legends. Yeah, that's my opinion. Looking uh, at this eighth version, yo, Cartana would be cool. I could see Cartana. Like slice the dice origami for like it turns into like a paper plane to we fly don't... up. Because it's Pokemon, we don't have, like, a lot of swordsmen. It's all either shooter-based, like, like special attack, or it's physical-based, like a fighter. Yeah, but we didn't get to your boy Zashian yet. <laughs> uh, no. Right. None of the legendaries in this game. You're horrible. Or, uh, I was gonna say They'd Mar all Shadow, be bosses. It's go I was gonna say Marshadow would be cool, but again, it's ghosts. So... I think Marshadow and Zerora work. I think okay. in this one scenario, it actually works. We'll bring them in. Because yeah. with Mars Shadow, it actually would be a lot, like, more in the shadows over disappearing and reappearing. Or, and, like, and it would be, like, that type of fighting type style. Also, I was going to say Zerora, because it'd be, like, an electrical fighter type yeah, of deal. Yeah, we need electric types. <laughs> we have been very lacking on our electric types because all of them are just Pikachu clones. Keep. Anyways. Uh. We should add our boy Sandaconda. Are we going to the Gen 8? Oh, well, I've been in Gen 8. Okay. I just haven't mentioned any of them because we mentioned a oh, lot okay. of them yeah, already. Okay. I'd say Colossal could work as like a T Tar Echo but with fire. Okay. So I'm gonna yeah. write that up on our Tar one, unless you think otherwise. Nope. I am cool with that. Um. Yeah, we already I... mentioned a lot of these. Orbital, Colossal, Santa Conda. You mentioned. Rap locked. 
Grimmy. Surfetched. Sandaconda. I'm kidding. No, let's not and say we did. Yeah, we got a lot of these, so we're good. I think we're done. I don't know. Also, I just and toxicity we mentioned. I just realized that this dex is really small. <laughs> eighty mons. That's not terrible. Oh, eighty. That's just in the ballpark of like, honestly, for the lols Drakovich. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? He ugly enough. <laughs> right. You pass. All yeah, right. I think that's. What do you say? That's it. Let's do a gloss over of all of the gens. If anybody has anything else to say about our list... Uh, Fraser said Vicavolt. Vicavolt? Yeah, we need electric types. I can I see can that. see it. Because my thing is, like, I definitely think it'd be a lot different than all of our electric types, because not a lot of them fly. Yeah. Yep. That is true. So then... How does it look? So let's do a gloss over. I'm not going to worry about, um numbers right now just take a gloss over see if there's anything you'd want or anything we should cut or and nah i don't think we should cut anything okay uh, uh, let's hear it just take a gloss over of the list of of mons are you gonna pull it up or are you just gonna say it no 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 just no, no. of the national decks Oh, okay, okay. Take a gloss over, see if we've missed anything. Um, Nido King with a Nido Queen Echo. Yeah, we are missing Gen 1 representation. Yeah, that would work. Um, anything else in Gen 1? Nothing speaks out too, too much. Maybe Alex example. We already have Gardevoir, so like, man, they'd be very too similar, I feel. Yeah, like the problem with with a lot of the psychic types is they're they'd all be Mewtwo. <laughs> they'd all be Mewtwo. Like because we're big Pokemon fans, we have been able to find all of these Mons and try to justify them. But in reality, you really only need like twenty or thirty. Yeah. Um. So like, not like a Pokemon number, but like probably like a double that or half of or like. A bit more. Um, I could see uh, Slowbro, but I don't want to put it down. I was gonna mention like Slowking in them, but I'm like, yeah, no, it's too. It's a bit too obscure. Anybody in chat saying anything? Nah, Fraser just mentioned Vigavo, which we got. Um, other than that, nah. I don't really see anything else. Like I'm scrolling through the decks. I'm I could like... see an Alolan Marowak. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot about that thing. Um, and then the final smash would be it imposing its mother as well. And then uh, attacking the enemy. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, I don't know. I can't think of anything else. I'm looking at this decks. I feel like we got a good list. Do you know how many Pokemon we have though? A lot. I'm not counting. Nice. I refuse. I didn't number it. I really should have. I thought you were typing it out like in Excel or Word and just putting like a list. I'm typing it in um, Inkpad Notepad. Oh. And I refuse to go back up and count right now. <laughs> Karibo as a Yu-Gi-Oh cameo. Bets. Agumon. Agumon for Smash, which can actually happen, by the way. Because it's not anime first. <laughs> um, I think I'm good. I mean, I don't have any complaints. I want to look at Gen Two again because I wasn't in Gen Three because I wasn't really around for those. So we're we're finished up the list. We're just scrolling through to see if there's any last minute Pokemon. If you have anything that you think we could add, Ampharos. Oh yeah, I was looking at Amphi. As far as none of us Gen mentioned it, we need electric types. Let's go for Amphi. Why not? <laughs> I'm cool with it, Rose. Use this final flash as its final smash. Because it was a lighthouse Pokemon. Boom. Wobbuffet would be would probably just be a Pokeball on. Yes. 
Um, your artillery with the smoke screens, the ink blobs. Have a bazooka. Yo, Smurgle though, like drawing on people, painting on them. That like would that. be great. I think that'd be unique. Smurgle using its tail to like draw different stuff. Um. Oh right, I want to add Blazer and in Inferno. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for starters, yeah, yeah, yeah I kind of have to. They're great. And Swampert. I love Swampert. Can't get shiny, but I still love it. But yeah, sure thing, I guess. If you want one of yeah. mine. What? If you want one of mine. No, it's okay. It <laughs> needs to be the one we get. One day. Bet. That's not try enough. Um, I think Silcoon and Caskin would be great as that goes. They just sit there and do nothing. Bet. Yep. Um, but I think Gen two we got enough now, don't you think? Or are you still? Oh no no no! I'm on Gen three. Okay, cool. Gen 3. I was thinking Shift Tree while you were gone, but I'm like, how will we. Shift Tree or Maldo? Yeah, yeah, how would we, like, position them, though? They're kind of, like. They're kinda Shift Tree would probably be kind of, like, ninja like, but a bit slow, like, but not like how Greninja is, but, like. Slower. Yeah, but, like. Probably. Like, it couldn't It'd teleport, but it would use, like, a lot of those moves. It would be grassy. <laughs> Oh yeah, Hariyama I was thinking. I'm like, yeah, it's a fighting type, but his big hands will be pretty unique. For, like, grabbing and, like, throwing, uh, punching, arm thrust, stuff like something, maybe something like that. Um, Wait, what? Hariyama? Hariyama would be unique, I think. It would I work like see... E-Honda. It'd be funny. I can't see Agron. I was gonna say no. Agron, but I thought about it, and now I'm not like, nah. Cause it's just like, I feel like it'd just be another T-Tar, like... I don't know. In terms of like typing and stuff, like very similar pseudos in general. I'm good with with our roster. I think our roster's good. Did you want to like go through the list or nah? I'm not. Uh, hold on. So that should be twenty five. On. You might have actually exceeded a hundred. What? You might have actually exceeded a hundred. Not seventy five. <laughs> we didn't. Hold on. Seventy six, seventy seven, seventy eight, seventy nine, eighty, eighty one, eighty two, eighty three, eighty four, eighty five, eighty six, eighty seven, eighty eight, eighty nine, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four, ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven. Really? Yep. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Less than a hundred. Nice. So, all right. So, what else could we mention, real quick? I'm I'm done with. No, no, not not characters. Oh, what? I was talking about like stages or other things. Oh. Like, I was gonna say like a lot of the legends would definitely be like boss fight emons. Um, like, I definitely think if it was going to have, like, a sort of campaign, like, either a spirits mode or, or subspace, it would definitely be, like, a lot of boss fights with, like, legends. Yeah, and for the stickers, you would just capture the Pokemon yeah. themselves, considering there's, like, eight to nine hundred of them, so that'd be enough, just as the thousand stickers there are. Yeah. Um... Uh -huh. Or spirits, I mean. Let's see, for stages, like, I mean, there's just, like, so many places in the Pokemon world, and you don't have to just stick with mainline games. You could also do side game places. Like, I think the Orange Islands would be cool. Orange Islands would be a good throwback. Trapped um, in the Distortion World? Ooh, that'd be nice. Distor distortion World? Why that'd isn't cool. Distortion World a stage? That'd be so cool. And, like, it, like, changes gravity on you and stuff like that. Well, like your Tina comes in the background. Sakurai, get on, get on that. Did you keep effects on? I mean, if Gen Four remakes happen in 2020, dude, when we get to that video, that's gonna be pretty dope. Our 2020 predictions. <laughs> Hopefully, it's sooner than later. Yeah. Um. 
Uh, what else? Um, Pokeball Mons would probably... There would be a lot more because there we wouldn't have assist trophies. Um, yeah, I think that, um, I'm, um, I'm doing a G-Max Scorch from Soul, mm -hmm. and after that, I think we're good. Cool. To end it. Yeah. Um... What else could we do for our supposed game here? Um. You could. The movie or the movie? The movie is much more visually appealing. Is this trophy in her story with a healing field around her? Yeah. That would be cool. Oh, you could do trophies as, like, actual, like, I guess, like, people. Like, you could have, like, a nurse Joy and, like, doing her thing. You have, like, G like Team Rocket doing their stuff. Yeah, I can see that. Um. Wow, why didn't they attack the, the water type with the grass type on? I mean, because with the grass type move, whatever. Um. What else could you do for, like, a game like that? I mean, like, again, there'd be, like, over, like, probably over, like, the spirits we even had because you could account for, like, everything. Over oh, around like, it. Like, characters? Yeah, like, characters, like, um, and other stuff. Uh, like, it'd be interesting to have all of those me costumes for Pokemon as well. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. I feel like that's what we lack a lot of in Smash, is me costumes for Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Like, I think, like, a Decidueye one for, like, a shooter would be cool. A sh like a like a shooter me costume. Yeah, that would be. Situation really cool. Um, like you could do like an all star mode where like all of the mons are like each generation. A mag mortar costume would be hella dope. Like mag we mortar, need, we yeah, should have be. that. Mm -hmm. Um. That'd be nice. Let's see. Stages we well, would obviously be all of the other stages. I think Sunny Shore would be a cool stage. Ooh, or either Sunny light, Shore or Olivine, yeah. Lighthouse, yeah. Um yeah, either Sunny Shore or Olivine. Um You could do Um Um, what is it? Uh, what other? Distortion World, again, all, would be a hell of a stage. Um, probably, like, the Gigantamax, uh, place. Of uh, the den? Yeah, the, the den. Like, a, the wild area in, in general, in itself. Mm -hmm. Um, probably, like, Winden as Pokemon Stadium 3. And let's see if we get it. Good luck on Descent to Scorch. Um, probably a like the Pokemon Battle Royale ring would be cool. Yeah. Mid G Max. Okay, Eternity sure. Is in fight. <laughs> Damn. Um, that would probably be a cool final boss. Maybe like an Arceus as a final boss too. Like, as, like, other than that, um, uh, what else? Probably, like, Victory Road, because we don't have a Victory Road, we really only have the leagues themselves. 
Um... Canaval via the boat, the harbor city, I think would be cool. I want a deep sea cavern stage. That would be cool. Um, Ultra um, Mega Opalypse, uh, Opalus, or whatever. Like Ultra Space would be cool. Um, oh yeah, Ultra Space would be cool. I don't know if uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube and you guys have any su other suggestions for this, I guess leave them down below. Um, follow the Twitch channel because we're gonna we're gonna be doing more of these on here because YouTube's a bum. <laughs> Maybe it won't be anymore yeah. since like I have my stuff here now. Um, you always test it out. And um, yeah, I, I could test it out. Um, and uh, if you guys aren't already, please go check out the Discord to find it, to get um, notified whenever we go live. Um, the next time we go live, I don't know what we're gonna do because I think I think we've kind of max rated ourselves out. <laughs> we might just do them like once a week from now on for these. And that might not even be that much of, of them because, you know. But. Yeah. Me and, I think me and V will figure something out what we're going to do for our next stream other than this. Yep. Because I highly doubt this is what we're doing um, next. And uh, <clears throat> anything else you would like to say? No, I mean. Not? Any suggestions for topics, we'll take them. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have an ideas section. On Discord, and you can just place them there. So, yeah. And, uh, we will see you guys, uh, in the next stream. Good.